Hashtags have been changing for a while on Instagram. And also the platform has been evolving rapidly recently. How you upload, but also how Instagram search finds your reels, videos, pictures, and categorizes them. The big questions always when it comes to Instagram are, are hashtags dead? Should I use hashtags? Should I put them in the first caption or the comment? How many hashtags should I use? And we're gonna cover them all today. In this video, we're gonna discuss Instagram, hashtags, Instagram search, all four DJs, producers, and how you can leverage it with this ever evolving platform. Hey, I'm Graham Farmer, founder of the Dance Music Magazine, Data Transmission, and also the course, The Artist Blueprint. On my course, we look at Instagram in depth and how to leverage it as DJs and producers. And on this channel, on a major mission, to help DJs and producers understand social media and content creation so they can really get their music out there and heard more and essentially get more gigs. One way you can help me is by subscribing to the channel so you always get notified when we send out these new videos. That's happening every Thursday at the moment and I wouldn't want you to miss one. From working with DJs and producers in my one-to-one -one coaching and now in my course, The Artist Blueprint, we focus on making better content for you as DJs and producers so that you can leverage the platform of Instagram even more. And that's definitely the most important thing right now with hashtags. As you probably noticed, Instagram has been changing and changing rapidly over the last few months. They're on a bit of a catch up to TikTok who have definitely got a bit more of the market share. And there's been loads of changes to the visual look of the platform. There's been, they've been adding NFT support and we will definitely make a video about that at some point down the line. But today we're gonna to be chatting about things underneath the hood and that includes search and how it impacts hashtags. In the past, hashtags have made your content more discoverable depending on how many hashtags you use and which hashtags you use. Recently, Instagram CEO Adam Azaria was asked on his stories, do hashtags improve views? And he replied that generally they don't help with the distribution of content, they just help categorize it within the platform. So let's chat about search. For a while, Instagram has been changing search, so it works more like Google and YouTube on an SEO-based system. Search is built to help you find more accounts of interest. And it's a bit different to reels and feed and posts because the more you put into search, the more it's gonna help your future content discovery. And they're trying to organize search results better so they can deliver you content, whether that's a creator, a close friend, or something of interest like music. So if you're searching tech house, and you type tech house in the search or tech house music, it's gonna now show you loads of posts that have got tech house mentioned in the captions and alt text around those posts, as well as hashtags. It's also gonna show you anything that's got at tech house as well. And as with YouTube and Google, search engine optimization is now something you're gonna to have to learn I know guys, another thing you have to learn apart from making music to get your music out there further and get you out there as a DJ. And brushing up on your SEO skills is another thing I know I can hear you all moaning that you're gonna to have to do now. The words you put into that search now are the now key signal to Instagram to show you more content. It's so exciting, it's actually more discoverable. Also your activity within the platform is also gonna help you find more accounts as well. And then once they brought up those search results, then it's gonna be key signals like likes and comments and engagements, which are gonna then organize that search is the most popular, but it's all gonna still be down to the content and the quality of that content even more now. So thinking about your content and thinking about how the order it's going out and planning your content and planning the purpose of your content before you post. Don't just take in selfies and, and posting it and expecting to grow. You need to make a content strategy and organize what you're posting when around your key dates and key things you're happening in your month. One thing I would definitely be doing now is definitely thinking about what's in that caption space. If it's a new track, think about when you're writing the caption, descriptive words that people might search for. So if you've got a new drum and bass roller that's coming out on Ram Records, right, these were the words you need to put in there. If you're thinking about yourself, when you're searching for music, when you're searching Instagram, what words do you put in when you're searching for the music you're into? Those words are now gonna have to be part of that caption and you're gonna have to write that caption, not just one words anymore, it's about filling that caption with words that people might search for. Or go and look at some of the bigger brands, artists, DJs, labels, and see what they're posting, see how they're using that caption space and try and emulate what they're doing. And SEO is now making a major role in what's being happening in suggested posts as well. You might have seen suggested posts come up more and more as you're scrolling as they've changed the feed. All these changes to Instagram gives it more ways to find content than just hashtags and how they are originally set up. So one of those big questions, do hashtags still work? Yes, they do, but they're more for categorizing your content. So think about what that post is about. If I take a picture of myself in this shed, then it's me, it's data transmission. I'm Maybe I'm Twitch streaming, so it's me Twitch streaming and categorizing myself into those areas. 
if it's a reel about your music, maybe it's what type of music it is. It maybe you're DJing at the same time. Maybe it's your DJing, you're you're playing a tech house record or a techno record, and there's you in it, and maybe the label, and maybe the artist of the label. Those sort of things are categorizing your music and where it might go and where it might belong. I definitely use a tool called Flick.tech, and it's a great piece of tech for finding certain hashtags and discovering about hashtags and also discovering hashtags that might be right for your content. The next big question we asked: where should I put hashtags? Well, Instagram said right back in the beginning of the year. You should be putting hashtags now in the caption. Captions, like I said, are searchable. So it's going to help you and your searchability and the searchability of that content if they're in caption now and not in that first comment. So move them back in the caption. Line breaks also work now in captions to space stuff out. Think about your eye. When you're reading stuff, short blocks in captions. Don't just jump it all together. Put some line breaks in. They work now. You don't have to put those little dots in either. Just put a line break in. Everything works fine. We try to use different hashtag strategies for different pieces of content, and we're always testing and evolving. Instagram say use three to five, and if you look through some of their research, the ones that are most reacting is around four. But we've definitely found some growth and some categorization between seven to 12, and sometimes even 15 to 20, where 70% of the hashtags are the really big kind of hashtags. So mix them up and just think about the post and look at what the post is about. If it's you playing in a club, it's DJing, it's fabric, it's music, it's you know which club it is, categorize that music and that post. And don't worry now if you're using really, really big hashtags that have got loads of posts in it because it's just a small part of what the search is gonna look for now. Let's break down some of the different types of hashtags so you can understand what things are about. Big hashtags. These are things like house music, techno, drum and bass. They're big, they've got lots of posts in them, and the competition to pop, pop up in that top of the explore is difficult. But with the categorization method, if you're a drum and bass DJ, put drum and bass. The next type is industry niche hashtags. And these could be like house music all night long, or drum and bass DJ, or techno DJ. Again, these are a bit smaller, but you should be using them to categorize. The next type of branded hashtags, and these would be things like drum code, defected, hot creations, RAM record, Records, you know, depending on if your release is on one of these labels or a label that's on, use that hashtag. Use your own, make your own branded hashtag. Or if you're playing for an event or brand like Hideout or Snow Bombing, they'll all have branded hashtags. Use those for discoverability as well. Campaign hashtags. If you're releasing a track, make your own campaign hashtag. So if you're doing sponsored ads, you can track how that hashtag's doing. User-generated hashtags, these are a bit different to your, the other hashtags. These are created by yourself, and they might be around certain things. Like Data Transmission's got one, that's user-generated, and that's growing quite nicely. So if you have a premiere or a post or something where you're mixed with us, use the Data Transmission one. I have my own, Graham Farmer. I try to categorize all my posts from me in that own hashtag. So if I go to that hashtag, I can see all my content. Also, if you're looking for loads of content from me, go and search that hashtag, you'll find all the stuff from me. And then finally, Instagram community hashtags, like DJs of Instagram, Instagram DJs, Instagram producers. These can help you categorize yourself in Instagram and certain, certain parts of Instagram. Let me know in the comments what hashtags you're using and how your strategy is working. And if you're now gonna to switch to this now search, and if you know about search, or if you'd like me to do more videos about search, let me know in the captions below, and I'll try and give you some more depth. Do you struggle with social media hashtags and growing your content and making better content for yourself as a DJ and producer? Well, with my course, The Artist Blueprint, we teach you exactly that. You become part of our bigger team and we help you grow as a DJ and producer on social media so your music gets more heard and you get more DJ gigs. Whether you're ready or not, we find this out by a discovery call, which I have in a link below. Jump on the call, we'll have a chat, and we'll learn about you and what you're up to and where you want to get to. And then we can make the decision whether you're ready or not for the course. If you want to start the sound of it, again, links below. Let's have that chat. If you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, please give it a like and let me know in the comments below. Comments and likes really, really help videos on YouTube with the algorithm, and it helps pushes it to more DJs and producers that could be interested in this content and find it useful, which really helps me out. We're trying to get to 100K followers, so if you're not subscribed, again, smash that subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe if you don't find it useful in the future. I've been Graham Farmer, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.